Howdy, I'm Father David Condrela. I'm the pastor of St. Mary's Catholic Center at Texas A&M University in Blinn College. I've been a priest for 19 years, and it's been my great blessing to serve 12 of those years right here at Texas A&M. First, I was here as the associate pastor under Michael Sis, now Bishop Michael Sis, and then I've been here since 2005 as the pastor. But the first time I came to Mass here was in the early 60s when I was a little toddler and my mom and dad would bring me and my sister to Mass here. And I love to come to Mass here because where else can you go where there's flying saucers? Because the air conditioning vents in the church here are round and they look like flying saucers. And when I was a little boy, I used to say, wow, this is cool to go to a big building where there's flying saucers. This is a very special place, as anyone who's visited us already knows, because of the faith of the students who are here. There's about 16,000 Catholic students between Texas A&M and Blinn College, and we're the ministry for all of those students. There's been many special highlights for me over the years. One of them that I can talk about is the two years that we had Father Will Stratton here with us as our associate pastor. And the reason why that's so special for me is because when I was here as the associate pastor, Father Will was student Will. He was one of our students here. He lived in the apartments upstairs in the student center. He mowed the grass. He did maintenance work for us, whatever we needed him to do. And then when I became the vocation director for the diocese, that's when he entered the seminary. And then when I was the pastor of this wonderful place, Father Will came to serve with us for two years. Those were special years for me because it was almost as if he was my own son. It spoke to me of the generativity of this place, the way that St. Mary's is such a life-giving place for so many people. I came here as the associate and we were working out of the old student center across the street from what is now the student center. It was a very small uh, building. It had holes in the roof and it leaked when it rained and would put all these buckets out and there was basically two meeting rooms in it. But of course the staff back then was only about five people. And now look at us. We have 11 acres here. We have this gorgeous big 30,000 square foot student ministry center. We still have our chapel here. But all of that has become too small again. So one of the things that is a constant about St. Mary's and because of the university is we're constantly growing, constantly expanding the ministry, reaching out to more students. St. Mary's has given me a great joy and optimism because I see 200 students coming to daily mass each day, because I see long lines in the confessional every day of the week, because I see thousands of students filling up eight, nine masses on the weekend. <laughs>